What's the best exercise for autoimmune disease? Let's talk about it. Hey health heroes, welcome back to Adam Immune. Today I wanted to talk about the best Whoa. Today I want to talk about the best exercise for autoimmune disease. Now, for those of you with autoimmune issues, you know that a lot of exercise or vigorous, you know, strenuous activity will lead to a flare, a reaction from your autoimmune symptoms. Now, um, there's some exercises that are better than others. It's just going to be the case for most of us. But keep in mind that it depends on the person. Some people are capable of doing crazy things and not have a reaction, you know, and that's great for them. But for those of you like me that are a little more sensitive, um, we have to be careful, right? Now, I can't say that there's one overall best exercise for absolutely everyone okay first of all that's kind of clickbaity I'm sorry about that um, I can say there's a best exercise for me and there's a best exercise for you so you're gonna have to go out and find what works for you now if you're into weightlifting or you know maybe crossfitting anything like that you know you probably have already come across some of these obstacles and you've realized that hey I'm not feeling so great after a workout um, you may not feel great you know maybe most people don't feel great after a workout anyway sometimes but you know it could be even worse for us autoimmuners so again you just kind of want to be careful you want to take it easy um, you can work up to more exercise over time let your body get used to it I really don't recommend if you're starting the AIP diet the autoimmune protocol you I, I recommend you don't start out with a whole lot of exercise in fact um, if you're on a huge weight loss journey like I was kind of still am I guess um, I really don't even re recommend much at all because you want to focus on diet and when you're eating differently um, and you're exercising you're going to want to eat more right and you're going to be more stressed and you're going to be um, more prone to emotional eating and that is not something we want to do so you know I'm not even a big advocate of exercise in the first place a little bit is great and it goes a long ways uh, don't get me wrong exercise is great okay I'm not saying don't exercise uh, but when you're starting out just you know maybe less is more in the beginning so so I guess what I'm trying to say is I will say what I think is the best exercise for me. This may not apply to you, but for me it is long walks. Um, long walks have been very good for my physical body. Now I, I remember I made that weight loss video I think 10, 11 months ago, almost a year now, and it, I talked about how I lost 100 pounds naturally. I didn't really exercise at all before that point or up to that point. I added in a few, you know, basic exercises. I started to do some push-ups and, you know, and I, I didn't really stick with that at all, but I lost another 25 doing that. Um, but I came to a point where I hit another weight loss plateau and as you know I've made a video about that as well how I got past three of those um, I actually had to exercise this time so I added in long walks now I follow Dr. Berg um, I don't go with everything he says he's mainly just a keto and some fasting um, advocate but again I don't think he's right on a lot of things but um, one thing I do appreciate from him he has a wide spectrum so he talks about a lot of different things and one of those things he talks about was exercise and he he said that long walks would help lower cortisol and that would help with people with anxiety and things like that and I thought yeah that makes a lot of sense you know I, I've talked about on this channel a lot how you know I have a severe anxiety disorder and you know I do have triggers for that and I'll go more into depth on that eventually um, it's not really something I'm ready to talk about it's it's very very personal to me um, I know a lot of people suffer with that with autoimmune issues too so I, I will get to that mental health is a part of autoimmune health 100% I really believe that I would say food has helped really manage my anxiety issues like 80 percent um, but exercise has also been a part of that as well so if you know if you're having anxiety issues um, of course change your diet you know you're gonna have to find foods that not only trigger your autoimmune disease but also trigger your anxiety you know I, a lot of people don't know this but you can trigger depression you can trigger all kinds of mental issues by the foods you're eating um, there's a book called grain brain I can't I can't remember who <laughs> wrote it but um, it really goes into depth about how grains um, can cross our brain blood barrier in a affect the way we think and behave. Um, I really lay into sugar heavily because sugar is one of those main grains that is just so so damaging to our bodies and our minds and overall health but anyway I talk about that a lot but again exercise long walking helps me lowers my cortisol I feel 
more level when I do it. I can just think clearer. Everything is better. Um, again, I did kind of, I don't want to say cure, but I did get rid of my brain fog completely by doing the AIP diet and things like that. All kinds of things. I'm going to make videos about all that. But again, long walks, really great. So if you want to try that, maybe, maybe that would be a good place to start. Um, I started really short. I started this summer, actually. I, I haven't really talked about it. I, I probably should have, but I, I wanted to make sure that it was really helping and it, it was something that I could stick with. Um, I've been very bad in the past about sticking to an exercise regimen, and uh, I'm just really bad at that, guys. Honestly, that's... Um, Sticking to things has been difficult, but again, you know, developing this willpower with the AIP diet, paleo, uh, I've come a long ways. I'm, I'm not the guy that I once was. To be honest, again, if weight loss is your major issue, you're going to have to find the exercise that works for you. So if you like, you know, CrossFit, weightlifting, um, poo swimming, swimming is great. I like swimming. I just don't have a lot of opportunities where I'm at over here. Um, you know, whatever works for you, whatever, whatever you enjoy, whatever exercise is sustainable is going to be the best one that works for you for weight loss. Again, you'll have to ease back a little bit for autoimmune disease, but just kind of pace yourself, okay? There's no need to rush into this. Um, we didn't gain the, we didn't get this autoimmune disease overnight, and we're not going to heal it overnight. It's just, it's always going to be a work in progress, and it's going to be a system of trial and error, just like AIP. The reason I wanted to make this today is because I just went out for a walk, and it's, it's freezing, and it's raining, and, um, you know, I'm really proud of myself. I, I've come so far, you know, just, I felt like I wanted to walk, and I love walking. I do it about at least three times a week, I would say. Um, I started out a minimum of 20 minutes, but now I'm up to maybe an hour sometimes. It just depends on the week. Sometimes I'll go every day. Sometimes I'll just go a couple times a week. Again, I don't really stress myself over it. I just, when I'm, when I'm having extra things going on in, in my mind or in my life, um, it really helps to get out there and just walk around and just, you know, let it play out. It's sort of like a meditation almost. Um, I can, it's very rare that I, I don't think about things and when I'm walking I can just kind of blank zone out, you know, and um, for someone that overthinks, you know, overanalyzer, that is amazing um, because, you know, I wish I could do that when I'm sleeping, uh, but unfortunately I can't. And I really only walk around my block. Um, I'm sure my neighbors think I'm crazy. I just, I just walk laps around through the alley and around the house. I, you know, I mean, that it adds up to, you know, a few miles or whatever. Or I don't know. I used to count the miles, but I don't, I don't care anymore. I just go until I feel good and I'm like, yeah, I'm good for the day. During the summer, I was walking through the back alley and I saw this little plant. Um, I was watching it grow, you know, as I was walking every day during that summer time. And um, the next day, my neighbor ran it over with his truck. You know, I seen the tread marks and, you know, it looked like it was dead. And, um, you know, I, this didn't bother me. That's not where I'm going with this. The point is, you know, a few days later, it had flowers growing out from it. And, you know, it made me think of all of us health heroes, you know. We, we went through all these different obstacles, these challenges, these heartaches. We went through so much, and yet something beautiful and something useful still can come from us. You know, it, it, just because we get these autoimmune diseases, these issues, these health problems, doesn't mean we're done. Okay? I mean, if I had settled and said, yeah, I'm just bedridden, I'm just miserable and alone, and that's all I'm going to be to this world, then I, I never would have got to where I am today. Um, so it really takes a hero's mentality. Sometimes we want to just be the victim and, and we want others to share in our misery and maybe even feel sorry for us. I know, I, I've been through that. And I know it's hard to admit as well, you know, knowing that playing the victim card, you know, we got a little bit of attention and hey, you know, notice me. My dad always said that attitude is 98% of life. And I, I never understood really what that meant until I got a little older, until I realized that, hey, Perception is everything. We can still be something something powerful to this world. So just remember, anything can happen to you and you can still make it back on top. We are still beautiful in our own way and you are important to this world. So just know that and I love you all. Thanks for watching Health Heroes. See you next time.